what's going on guys welcome back to another episode today we are going over how to set up your bait caster how to spool your bait caster and get it ready to go in the water i've had a, several questions on how to do it so i figured i'd go ahead and help you guys out and show you how i i personally do it and see if it applies to you guys you know hopefully what i can give you today will help you guys out in the future and you guys can get to fishing and having a good time all right, let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this monofilament on this bait caster. It's just 17 pound trilene. But the first thing you wanna do is check your bait caster, the spool, to see if it has holes in it. If it has holes in it, you're fine. But if it does not have any holes in it, you need to take a little piece of electrical tape and wrap it around that spool. And what this does is it allows it to grip that spool so that way it doesn't slip on the reel when you cast it this one has holes in it so I'm good on that part but like I said get you a piece of electrical tape put a small piece around that spool that way it gives it extra grip on there so that way there's no slipping in the spool when you go to cast it and cause a backlash like that all right so you always want your spool to come on the same way it's gonna reel so make sure the line is going on the same direction that is coming off the spool, going back onto the reel. I always take it and put it through this first eyelet just to kind of help my, myself out. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your line, feed it through there, feed it through your guide. And then since this one has holes in it, what I like to do is I like to run it through the hole and back out. Like so. Now I'm going to pull some line through. And I'm going to pull my line in here, make sure it's still through the eyelet. And then I'm going to tie a uni knot. Uni knot is probably one of the easiest knots to, to tie, but I'm only going to do about three times through the loop. All right, and then tighten her down. And tighten it down to the spool. Go get my little scissors. Make sure that you don't cut your main line. All right, then after that, I've got my line ready to get ready to spool. I'm just gonna go slow and steady. Let it go on there as evenly as possible. Take your time with it. No need to get in a big rush because you want it done right the first time. You don't want to underfill it and you don't want to overfill your spools.
All right, so now that you got your line on your bait caster, go ahead and feed it through all your eyelets. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie off to something hard, something that's not gonna move. For instance, right behind us, we have, right behind the camera, we have a fence post. I'm gonna tie off to that fence post and then I'm gonna hit, hit the button and let it unspool as I walk slowly, as I walk backwards and stretch it out. So there's people that do this, there's people that don't. I personally do this. To me, it helps tighten the line and it helps to get things going smoother in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie it to this post and then we're gonna take a long walk as we let the, as we let the line out so that we can tighten it back up. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I got this post right here. I'm just gonna tie it to it. It helps if you have a screwdriver to tie a screwdriver to it. Tie it to the screwdriver if you put the screwdriver in some piece of wood or something. But I'm using what we got today. I'm out in the field right now, so we're gonna do this while we're out here fishing. All right, no, no real special knots for this. The only thing you got to make sure is that the is that it stays on there. That's all you're looking for. Let's get that tied on there. All right. So now we got that tied on there. We can hit our button and just walk backwards. You want to walk backwards until it gets around 25% of your spool. So make sure you look at where you're going because you don't want any mishaps. But like I said, right now, we're just going to keep walking and I will see you guys when I get to my final destination over here. All right, we are at our final destination. I'm going to tighten my tension knob some. Tighten my drag down. You want it to uh, have some kind of resistance. And then all we're going to do is sit here and walk with it. So that way it, it tightens up. You walk slowly. You want to make sure your drags tie down, tighten down so that way it don't slip on you. Because you don't want it to slip while you're doing this. That's all we're going to do is tighten it up. Alright guys, there we have it. That is how 
I spool my bait casters. Pretty simple, just takes a little bit of time out of your day. If you do it right the first time, you won't have any worry about any backlash as far as the spooling goes. Now, of course, that is up to user error with all, back, with all bait casters. So outside of that, just remember, before you get out onto the water, remember to set your drag because there's a lot of folks that I've talked to that have spooled on a new reel and forgot their drag was so tight, hooked onto a big one, there she goes, snapped off. So, all right guys, outside of that, if you want any more tips and tricks from what I do, like I said, I'm not, by far not a professional, but this is, exact, this is what I do when I get out there and get to it. So, if you like what you saw, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, ding that notification bell, give me a good thumbs up. Remember, when the sun's out, line's out, keep fishing, whatever it takes.